Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. This is part two of my header and star video. So let's get going. On part one of the header and star video, I'll show you how I remove the headers from the car. The header are out and I ran onto some challenges. So if you haven't watched that video, please make sure that you go watch the video to see exactly how I got to this point. Now I have the headers out and now I'm about to start the process of putting the new Megan Racing header back in there. But there's a few steps that I have to do before that. On a sad note, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do. There's a lot of content like this one on the channel and also it's free, right? Please support the channel by subscribing and liking this video and dropping a comment on any mistakes that I may have done during this installation or anything that you learned that can help you in any uh, other job. So let's go ahead now and continue this project. Off camera, I went ahead and clean up all the area where the exhaust uh, header is going to touch the engine, all that area where you put the gasket. I've cleaned that using this uh, material right here. It's really great. So I've cleaned that and it looks pretty, pretty nice. Now what we have to do is pretty much transfer the oxygen sensors that are right here from the original headers to the Megan Racing. And actually let's go ahead and also do a quick unboxing. Although I already know what is in there because as you can see the box is already open. I know what's in there. So let's go ahead and unbox that really quick. Place it here. Nice. Take the other one. That's the front side. And place it here. I don't even have enough space for all of this. And also this comes with a few things. It comes with these also. So when you order Megan Racing header, this is pretty much what you have. Headers, headers, and uh, let me unwrap this and show you exactly how that looks like. These are pretty much all the tools that we are going to use to reinstall everything. Now, as you can see, this is the short header. This is the one from the on the back side, and that one is the long one. This is the one that goes on the front. It's pretty much cylinder. Uh, four five six actually no this is cylinder four five six cylinder one two three it's right there now this is the one that's going to replace that right here and you can see the well for megan racing is pretty 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 good and here this is where we are going to put the oxygen sensor the one post cat meaning this one right here goes in here and this one right here will pretty much go in there. But for the post cat, if you, you normally if you had the catalytic converter, it was supposed to be right here. We are going to put this thing right here just to kind of like not have the check engine light. So this is the oxygen sensor extender, and I ordered an additional extender just because I wanted to ensure that I don't have any check engine light. So this one will go kind of like right here. Now these are literally all the bolt i'm planning to replace and these are the gasket this is the gasket for the uh, section one going to section two and this is the header gasket because you have to replace that now when you order for megan racing they provide you some but these are not a good quality so I, you have to purchase the one from factory and when you install the shiny side goes towards the engine now this thing right here this kind of ring thing will kind of be mounted in there and i'm going to actually use that one from um, megan racing this one is the gasket for the um, auxiliary pump when you install that you use this now originally i was planning to swap my header uh, stud here and also install the new bolts i'm still going to install the new bolt but i'm not going to install this because i have way too much things to do so literally those bolts are replacing these bolts that you see right here so i don't want to go and use a double nut method to remove each one of them and place these back because only because i have to spend an extra time trying to untighten this as you can see this bolt is stripped it's spinning like that but no matter what i do I can't really make this to come out. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna remove this bolt from here, but I have to remove it if I want to install this section one. So for now, what I'm going to do is literally transfer the oxygen sensors to the new headers and then start mounting all of these things in the engine here. And then 
worry about how I'm gonna install that section one back into this one yep that's literally what I'm going to do right now so I think I might have to cut that bolt because this is what is going to replace that this and that so I don't care about that bolt I just want to have it off but I just do not have the tool to be able to really wiggle that out so I might have to take it to a professional to do it but for now I just want to take care of what I have still that I have to do so when I show you literally things uh, probably the headers will be back in there to install is pretty pretty simple once you mount the you know oxygen sensors you kind of put this pipe first wiggle it all the way but don't attach it yet then take the second pipe wiggle it on the back and then come on the top it's good if you have someone that can help you so that the person can help you guide it here while you're feeding the 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 pipe from the bottom but since i'm alone i'm going to see how i can do it just by myself like i always do and yeah also i might want to clean up a little bit in there because i see a little bit of residue of oil and stuff like that i might do that i might not but it's a good idea to do that and after that after you mount everything you route all the oxygen kit sensor cables all the way up there plug them to the specific spa and mount everything back together i will try to show you the process as i'm going but i'm just gonna give you an overhaul of what needs to be done once you install the oxygen sensor it should look something like this where you have the extender right here also you have the extender right here now the way the extender works is that you put it here tighten here and you only leave this loose for now because you are going to tighten this once it is installed on the car because you might need to adjust it while you are mounting this is the first one it's tight same as this one so now it's time to go ahead and put this back into the car this is day three so as you can see i've mounted everything the headers are in and then i put everything back together the shell the coolant tank secondary air pump and everything is there but on the bottom i still have my section one out because as you can see i'm still stuck with this one ball that is not trying to come out so i'm thinking that probably i might take this to a shop for them to remove it and after further inspection i see that these two are actually not resonated this is the only resonator here on this system this one are cuts because when i look inside you can clearly see those are the cells i think these are maybe 400 cells and i'm not sure why any of the previous owner had two cuts on the car because i had these two cuts right here and then i had the factory cuts that came from my headers that was overkill if you ask me but now these are out and probably i'm only going to have those two cuts installed on the car once i remove that uh, one bolt so for now what we have to do is literally open this screw right here put some 50 50 coolant and then bleed the system after that put the battery on the back start the car for the first time it's going to be super 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 loud because i don't have that piece in there it's only <laughs> the headers and that's it so it's going to be very 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 loud so let me go ahead and bleed my system really quick and then uh, you know start the car for the first time i'm got i'm going to have to do a 50 fixive mix of the coolant that i purchased from fcp euro right here and then the distilled water that i have somewhere up there so i have this empty bottle of milk that i cleaned and let it dry for a week now i just have to mix in there before i place it in the reservoir so the way you actually bleed the system is you you open this thing right here and then you put coolant here and then whenever it's full it's going to start to come out here without any bubble once it does that you can put this little screw back close the top and then start your car put the heat and let it run and cycle that's going to you know suck in more and then after the car is warm it's cooled add more coolant that's kind of how you you uh, bleed and remove air from the system because i have air now since you have to remove this pump and i lost a little bit of coolant so let's go ahead and do that put the negative terminal back and start the car Check for Ellie. 
thing. So as you can see, it is brutal, it is loud, and it's smoking a little bit right here. That's totally normal. That's because I have a bunch of coolant that leak in there, so it's burning that. So after a while, it's not going to do that anymore. And yeah, man, Woo! it is loud. It is loud. I definitely have to place that back. I was finally able to cut the bolt. So yesterday what I did is I soaked the bolt again in PB Blaster. Let it sit overnight. This morning before taking it to a shop, I said, you know what, let me try to remove it again. And of course, I did move it maybe like a little bit. So once I move it a little bit, it gave me a little opening and then it was stuck and did not move anymore. So since I had this uh, saw thing here, I decided to just cut it. And after cutting it, now the bolt is out. Whew, finally now I can go ahead and install this section one under the car and finish my installation properly everything is installed car is good to go now let's start the car with the section one to see how she sounds <laughs> This is it man i hope you enjoyed the video make sure that you comment you like and you subscribe and then uh, let me know if there's anything i could have done different with this uh, whole project it's the first time i do something like this to this magnitude actually so i'm pretty sure i made some mistakes so please if i did go ahead and correct me and then i'll see you guys on the next video i'm going to drop the car now and take it on the test drive so far i don't have any check engine light so again see you on the next video bye bye